Jimmy, um, commiserations on the, on the defeat at home to Dagenham. There were some plus points, but, but it, we seem to be saying the same thing again without a goal. I mean, not going to win games. No, exactly. Look, it, it hurts, hurts, hurts everyone in the ground um, related to Kidderminster today. We are where we are. We come in while prep today, um, fired up, knowing where we are, fully aware of where we are and, and what lies ahead. The challenge um, and to lose in the manner we did, it uh, yeah, hurts. It hurts. You say first half, Harriers had the, had the chances uh, or, or created chances, perhaps a, a little wasteful in the final third. Yeah, that's where we are. Um, well organised, thought we defended well first half, and I thought we looked um, looked a threat at times. A threat at times. Look, is what it is. Um, but a few breakaways, a couple of chances where we can be better. A couple of couple of couple of opportunities where we've lacked all season really with that last pass or the last layoff and. It's not quite there, but we're in the game at nil-nil at half time, uh, fully in the game. Um, a game that we can go on and win, but at the minute it's almost like we forgot how to win games and it's it's um it's a place to be. Uh, I'm not gonna not gonna not gonna hide away and shy away from it. Um I think the one plus we have in our in our favour is look we've we've been in in a dark place before and it was probably in the last twelve months, which is unbelievable to say, considering we've we've been promoted in that time. Um yeah, it hurts, it's raw, it's raw. Um it's difficult. Um, you you want to find ways out of it, and you keep fighting to find ways out of it. But to lose the game, to lose the game, that's what that, that's what that's what kills us. I think if you come away at nil nil, we're disappointed. Um, but to lose a game in the manner we did is it's absolutely devastating. Yeah, again, you know, just uh, uh, I suppose really the the, the margin between, or not say success and failure, but certainly in, in getting in grabbing the results, in grabbing points. One one turn off. That's all it was. was one one area where you just turned off. No, you said it, you, Steve. You said it. There, you grab the points. Grab the points. Take the points. Mm. Take the win. Take the result. It's not just going to happen. You can't just wait for it to to happen on the back of a good half. And too many times over the last couple of weeks, we've produced a half of football, a half of football, and then haven't backed it up. Um, you're down here. We're scrapping. Um, you've got to be fighting. You've got to be absolutely be. Like I said, yeah, take the points, grab them, grab them with both hands, and if you get get in the ascendancy and you get you get in the lead, you absolutely do everything you can to to keep hold of it. And if you're at nil nil, you respect that point, bare minimum. You respect the point that you're going to take and giving away, giving away a win, giving away a point, bare minimum today. And that's that's what that's what hurts in the second half. The performance is nowhere near good enough. It's difficult, isn't it? Really, as to, as to you've got another game coming up very very quickly, Hartlepool on Tuesday night. Yeah, and it's that's that's. Probably the one thing that we straight away it turns your attention to it. We've, we've got a game. We've got a, we've got an opportunity. We've got an opportunity as a group to try and do something about it. But that that's raw. That is that's 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 minutes after the game, and it's it's tough. It's tough. We always talk about it. we're going to be prepped. We know we're going to be prepped for the opposition. We always are. We're going to do things right, and we're going to prepare right. But as a group, you've got it. It's what you do from there. And at the minute, we're not we're not doing enough. We're not doing enough when the whistle goes and we cross the line. We're not doing enough to to get points. But you say that, and, and, and the, the squad you're there, and you've already mentioned it once. Right? You said the, the the squad have been through this before, where they've been through, you know, it's almost like mirroring what 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 happened through part of last season. Yeah, but the the thing is, it didn't just change. It didn't just change. You know, just momentum doesn't just shift by chance. It, it, it's it's doing the right things. It's, it's showing courage uh, courage on the pitch. If you're having a bad time, it's still affecting the game in a positive way for us, individually, collectively, digging in. Game management, it all comes into it sounds like a cliche, but it all comes into play. And it's so important because it's so vital because every single point of the minute is an absolute graph to get. Um, and with a step up in level, it, it shows even more. Um, but talk's cheap, talk's cheap, I know that. Um, we all know that. Ultimately, it's about, it's about doing something about it. What I will say is that there's an opportunity in, in 72 hours or whatever it is until on Hartlepool on Tuesday night. To the 11 players that go out on the pitch, there's an opportunity there to, to look, try and make a change to it as quick as possible. And for the players you, you've kept out, then they'll probably think, well, they've got a chance to walk back in. Yeah, but that's not a, that's not a good reason to get into a team because you're in a, you see sides at the bottom of the league and you're you're the best of a bad bunch. That's not a way to look at it in this game. If you're out of the team, you're out of the team for a reason. If you're in it, you should be doing absolutely everything to, to stay in it and pick up points for the club. Um, Everyone's got to pull together, simple as, that's what happened 12 months ago, if you're not on board, you shouldn't be here. Um, and it, it's about trying to dig ourselves out of the hole we're in.